Partners, most Americans really don't have a thrilling job. But sometimes even the most ordinary job can put a person into a situation where he or she actually changes history. Our honoree this week had what we thought was a simple job. He was a night watchman. <laughs> Personally, I've always thought of job of a night watchman was be kind of boring and I've always pictured some old guy in a run-down office making the rounds of his property in the middle of the night holding a flashlight and eating a sandwich. Good picture in it. But this week's honorary might have thought of himself as a simple night watchman but he became involved in a situation that had international consequences. His name was Frank Wills. You see, Frank was just one of a group of men who were night watchmen in a big city office building. He had made the rounds of his building many, many times since being hired, and he was still only 24 years old. One day a friend said to him, Frank, do you really pay attention while you're making those rounds, or do you make the rounds on autopilot, <laughs> nearly walking in your sleep. Wills replied, I like to think I pay attention. Well, partners, pay attention is what Frank Wills did on a hot June night in 1972. While making the rounds, out of the corner of his eye, he saw something that looked funny. One of the doors in his building just didn't look as if it had been totally shut. Upon checking closer, he noticed a piece of tape was sticking out from the door lock. Something was afoot. <laughs> he removed the tape and walked on. Two hours later, while passing the same door, he saw that another piece of tape was in the lock. This time he called his supervisor. Hey, come here. Wills and several other officers investigated. They found a burglary in progress. And friends, burglary the Frank Wills discovered was the break-in at the water gate. Frank Wills' actions changed the course of American history. After leaving his job at Watergate, sadly, Wills went from job to job. Then his health started failing. He did appear, though, as himself in the movie about Watergate, named All the President's Men. Wills began having headaches. Bless his heart, he died of a brain tumor in 2000 at the young age of 52. Let's say his name again, Frank Wills, a man who became a patriot and a hero because he simply did his job. Okay, you know the drill. Yep, look up there to the right and you'll see those three boxes. The third one on the right has a big red X. That's the only one you chuck, chuck, and then when you do this, it'll come right back to our place where we are now to end the presentation of our day's events. Dennis, bless your heart, you know exactly what to pick and who to talk to to let me have the best guys in the world and ladies to report in our little videos every week. Thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate all of your feedbacks, too, guys. It's amazing what history can do. We just never read about the ones that turn out to be very important, and yet they're all but died. And almost known forever, that is. They're gone. No, yeah. This is a ridiculous way I'm talking, but I'm enjoying having the fun just visiting with you. Keep the feedback coming in to us. We love you. I really do love you. Go get them, Tiger.